Uh, hi, I'm Roger Shepard from Flying Nun, Flying Nun Records. So Flying Nun is turning 30 this year and we've decided to uh, celebrate that by having a bit of a combination of uh, getting some, some of the older bands together and uh, mixing it all up with some of the newer bands that we've just signed. And so uh, it's going to be a bit of, um, I guess, party, a bit of sort of live music, uh, which is what really is what, I guess, the origins of the label are all, all about. And a few sort of other activities, some beer drinking and uh, <coughs> a few stories to tell in various ways. And that's going to be the month, and then uh, we'll all be a month older. So uh, when, I, when I started Flying Nun, it was very much uh, driven by uh, going to see all these really fantastic bands in Christchurch and uh, a little bit later in Dunedin, and really thinking that they deserved to be recorded. Uh, that sense that they weren't going to hang around forever, that we really needed to record some of that music, and we could make records, and uh, minimum run was 300. Perhaps we could sell those 300 records and uh, cover the costs and do another project. And so the, the original ambitions were kind of almost archival. And uh, the, the clan came along and ruined all that and uh, sold bucket loads of records and had all these friends in Dunedin who also had bands who wanted to make records and the thing just grew. And grew and grew and grew. So here we are 30 years later remembering those, uh, gosh, those early events and uh, I guess trying to sort of renew the whole process of uh, you know, bands we like, going to see them play live and wanting to make their records. I think that's very much what the 30th is about. Speaking of the clean, you've got them coming over to... Or clean. coming to play? Yeah, Hamish is coming back uh, regarding the clean. Hamish is coming back from uh, New York and they're going to be playing some dates. So we're pretty excited about that um, because we all know that they're a fantastic band. We're a fantastic band then and um, uh, still one of the great bands. I think the thing, that our, our, our uh, understanding of how the thing was growing and kind of uh, generating more and more interest was uh, I sort of worked on two levels, you know, one was the sort of the mail that started arriving from overseas, you know, people writing from Germany or America or the UK, who'd somehow heard about some of this music and wanted to buy it off us. Uh, then it became some little mail order companies and then distributors. So there was that kind of growth of interest and even New in New Zealand, there, you know, we were selling, selling music, that music in the main centres to start with and then it was shops and, you know, Rotorua and Tauranga and Omaru and, and Vakako. Places you probably have trouble selling music in now, actually. Uh, so there were uh, so that there was that sense of growth, but there was also uh, the sense of uh, that things were getting bigger, and that um, Hamish Kilgo, who used to work for us uh, in the office, uh, he decided that he had to go and do a uh, practical accounting course and learned how to keep track of the uh, the debtors and the creditors. And for me, that was a major moment that we, we had a you know, something was going on. We had to list who we owed money to and who uh, owed us money. So uh, yeah, those, uh, those same chores, you know, uh, dominate our business lives really. So we've got uh, three new bands that we're, uh, we've basically signed who are going to be uh, featuring during November. Uh, Pop Strangers from Auckland, who I'm, I'm really excited about. First met them in the uh, BFM when they were doing a, um, a, a live to ear. And uh, I've got, well, two, two new songs that they've uh, recorded. Uh, absolutely fantastic, you know, I love them so much. I've been pestering them and they've uh, graciously uh, agreed to um, be on the label. A <laughs> uh, band from uh, Christchurch, T54, that I was a big fan of, and you know, fantastic live band, absolutely, uh, you know, I love them. And uh, looking forward to working with them. And Auckland uh, duo, uh, I saw at um, a camp low hum, I think, earlier this year, Surf Friends, who I think, you know, I really, I really, I think they're great. Kind of a little bit of the clean in there, a little bit of you know some post-punk kind of. I just like the ideas. I, I think we're going to do great things with them as well. So there are three bands that uh, we're going to be working with, and they're going to be more um, more talked about shortly. But they're going to be they're going to have a prominent role in uh, what we're doing in November. Awesome. Yeah, record company and what what year are we? 2011. Uh, it's quite different to 1981. Uh, I guess the whole digital thing is uh, quite significant. Uh, probably 20% of our business is digital. Um, we don't really know how much material people require without paying for it. Um, CDs are kind of slowly declining, but they're certainly not dead, still the major format. And vinyls kind of come back, uh, which is exciting because we all like records. We like, we like holding them, we like uh, playing them. 
Uh, but also, uh, for me, it's kind of a different deja vu thing, and that they're uh, hard to make and incredibly expensive to make and ship. But yeah, so we've probably got slightly too many formats. Um, if one could die out or decide what it's going to do to itself, then that'd be great. But uh, yeah, it's interesting. At least the cassette hasn't made a it hasn't read exactly yet. <laughs> but um, yeah, people are still buying music. People are still uh, you know passionate about it, and so I definitely think. You know, people are passionate about music. Uh, yeah. Music's going to keep developing yeah. and changing and transmutating, and we're going to be interested. It's going to retain our interest. Mm. Um, yeah, a big part of what we do is kind of trying to sort out the archive, which um, I thought would be a couple of months worth of work, but really is, uh, well, it's been a year and a half now, perhaps, yeah, perhaps longer. Uh, so we're sort of getting all that sorted, and there's posters and all sorts of things, uh, demo tapes and posters and records and Cassettes, actually. The cassettes are interesting. A lot of demo material, a lot of live material, and uh, the cassettes have lasted really well in the sense that, um, remarkably, they sound good. And uh, even, if they're, even if they're broken, you can kind of fix them with a bit of sellotape and oh. still play them. So it's been pretty exciting. Um, yeah, a big part of, I guess, a big part of what I see, you know, getting the label back is kind of looking after all that art and uh, just all that stuff that's kind of associated with the music. Mm. And yeah, perhaps one day we'll, uh, yeah, I think in 30th we might see a bit of it, might be dragged out, but uh, yeah, it's all very much about looking, you know, looking after it and then hopefully making it available. Hi, I'm Roger Shepard from Flying Nun. Uh, thanks, to, uh, thanks for watching us and we'll see you, uh, see you in November. Uh, come and help celebrate our 30th.